What's up, everybody? I'm Dr. Jeremy Hoffman, the climate and earth scientist here at the Science Museum of Virginia. And as the winter approaches and our days are getting shorter, you might be thinking about a warm cider around the fire. But climate scientists are thinking about a climate pattern thousands of miles away that impacts winter weather here in Virginia, the El Nino Southern Oscillation. Now, also known as ENSO for short, we typically only hear news about one of the two extremes, El Nino or La Nina. What exactly are those and how does it impact us here in Virginia? In order to answer that question, we need to pack our bags and take a flight to the Eastern Equatorial Pacific Ocean. Uh, we don't have a budget for that. We don't have the budget for that? No budget. Okay, actors it is. Prabir represents average Virginia weather during an El Nino event, or when ocean temperatures in the eastern Pacific Ocean are much warmer than usual. When the El Nino extreme occurs, our Virginia winters can be a little bit colder and a little bit wetter than usual. Maria Rosa represents Virginia weather during a La Nina event, or when ocean temperatures are much colder than usual in the Eastern Pacific Ocean. When La Nina comes to town, Virginia winters can be more mild, warmer, and drier than usual. This climate phenomenon shifts back and forth from one extreme to the other every two to seven years or so. And every event can affect our weather here in Virginia a little bit differently. Scientists are noticing some interesting trends in these climate patterns. If we look at the first 10 El Nino and La Nina events since 1950 and compare them to the most recent 10 events, a signature of seasonal continental warming consistent with human-caused climate change emerges. Understanding how climate patterns like ENSO impact us here in Virginia makes us better prepared to deal with possible nuisances like floods and droughts and other extreme weather events that can damage our city infrastructure, lower our crop yields, and delay our tropical vacations. If you'd like to know more about this season's ENSO forecast, go over to the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration's website at climate.gov. But for now, let's go back to the ENSO dance party.